Hello and welcome my beautiful mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea, my beautiful Pisces. Brenda Tarot here with your Pisces weekend vibe from your guides and that'll be for November the 18th and the 19th. Now keep in mind this is a general reading and not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Pisces on the planet, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the deep blue sea. Coming in with your download message, our download message, because I'm a Pisces too, as you know, this is reward for your efforts. So whatever we've been working on up to this point, we're going to see that we're going to get the payout for it. Whatever we've been putting our energy into, our blood, sweat and tears into, uh, investing our time into, we are going to see the turnaround of this the comeback the rewards the you know uh the thank yous the appreciation all of those wonderful things for whatever we've been doing so maybe it has to do with your job and your career some of you pisces might have been working extra hard at your place of employment maybe you're self-employed and you're seeing now that you're getting more business more clients more um, more sales, whatever the case is, you will be getting rewards for your hard work. So, you know, the more you're consistent, the more we put out uh, when it comes to investing in something that really matters to us, uh, we will see that the universe is going to shine down on us and we will receive the compensation and the rewards for that work. Now, in the center position, which is the actual deck of your your uh, messages from your guides you have expressed your feelings so this is uh where we're being um advised to be open like a book to be honest to let our feelings be known to others all our feelings are valid and should be honored we are experiencing these thoughts and emotions for a reason never let anyone judge our feelings as silly or inconsequential because they are obviously manifesting within us for a reason. We have the right of self-expression and it is imperative on our road of self-enlightenment and awareness. It is vital that we as a human being release and express that which is within because it will, you know, within a safe and loving manner we can express things. We should never judge or harm another by our actions either. And that is our ego struggling to make itself known. We need to be kind and respectful, yet speak our truth. We should never be keeping our feelings or thoughts or emotions bottled inside us and internalize our feelings. We are energy and energy flows. When we create a stop page by suppressing our valid emotions, they are left to fester within us. Then we are not in harmony and we are creating a disease, D-I-S hyphen E-A-S-E, right? To the natural flow of energy. Our thoughts and emotions should always come from a space of compassion. Always examine our feelings before sharing them. Are we coming from a place of love or a place of judgment? It is a fine art indeed to be able to express our feelings while at the same time bolstering the spirit of another. By bringing our truth out kindly, we are letting others know that we are being honest to ourselves while being empathic to them. So, you know, this is about not keeping things bottled up or internalizing our feelings. Life is short, my beautiful Pisces, and we need to express our feelings. We need to be articulate, accurate, and correct, and let our feelings come out. Uh, this particular weekend we could be sitting down and having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with someone we care about uh, we do have the lovers here so we could be doing that as well now I'm working with two different decks here two different Lennerman decks and the first card you've got is change so uh, we need to be made aware that we might be changing the way we think we act uh, a plan we've made a direction we're going okay it's time to go because this card shows a hardworking porter in a flat workman's cap packing up a stylus furniture into a horse horseless carriage. We're moving from our old townhouse to a better one and we don't plan to come back. So the graphics on this is pretty cute and that's what they're discussing here. But 
within, you know, we're, we're, this is the card of moving on. And it's also the card that says we're at a point now where there's going to be some change in our life. And, and, you know, that might manifest itself in a change of location or other social situations such as a career move, relationships with others or other, or our own outlook may change. So we have to be a bit versatile here. We have to be able to, you know, realize that this is our time on our journey to make the changes and to be open-minded and go for them. Um, the change card is, I like the change card because it does kind of remind me a little bit of moving forward but being balanced, kind of like the Eight of Cups. We're, we're working our way towards it uh, and we're leaving something behind we're not going to go back to. So be prepared to make some changes here. Uh, over the weekend, my fellow Pisces, uh, there could be a change in your home life and direction, um, in the way you think or do things. Um, it could be a change of work, uh, a change of, you, maybe you're going to go away and you're going to take a few days off. You need some scenery, a change of scenery even. So there is going to be some change coming in. But generally this card means when you're moving on, he's packing that, he's packing his personal items and his furniture pretty much in that in that particular vehicle and that means he's moving he's relocating and he's not going to go back and revisit this area now coming in with your next Lennerman from a diff different Lennerman deck you have the owl so the birds basically so you know birds are all about communication right we hear them in the morning they're the first thing we hear they chatter back and forth and they're quite vocal but this can be about communication and it could be a phone call a text or a date being made. That is how, th th this is all about the card of communication. It could be meetings or interviews as well, and negotiations. Um, it can be uh, having conversations and dealings with our lovers, our mates, or even our siblings, our family members. Um, it can also indicate partnership and, and being in a couple. Uh, be careful, though, because birds... Uh, get referred to as jibber-jabber, which is gossip, okay, um, and passing of information. It has to be positive, though. Um, this is the card that says be careful. Um, you, We could be uh, crowdsourcing right now um, and being involved in maybe dealing with a lot of people that we might be communicating with over this weekend. Okay, so... Um, you know, maybe you're going to be, maybe you're going to be tweeting people and you're going to be Facebooking people and you're going to be Instagramming people as well on social media because I see this large sort of mass of, of um, sort of public, uh, you know, expression here. So uh, don't get caught up in gossip. There's going to be a lot of communication going on and dialogue being shared and you're moving in a new direction and you will be expressing your feelings as we move through this weekend. And I'm loving that we're going to see rewards for our efforts. Coming in with our with our tarot messages, we do have that Five of Cups. And this is about um, reminiscing about the past, maybe thinking about past uh, regrets, uh, you know, the whys and reasons why things have happened in the past. But this is a card also that says you're crying over, we are crying over spilt milk. And we tend to carry... Um, our hurt and our pain and our disappointments for a very long time within our heart. Uh, we're one of the most sensitive signs on the zodiac, and sometimes we can internalize it and carry it for a long time because when we get wounded, when we get hurt, the wound goes deep. It takes a long time for us to heal through it. So, Pisces, this is a card that says, Wipe up that spilt milk, keep your eye on the prize. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, future we have ahead of us, and we have to stop thinking about the past. We have to stop thinking about the regrets, the disappointments, the failures, the breakups, all of those things, uh, and move forward. Now, in the center position, you could be meeting somebody new. The lovers come in and be open-minded. You could be meeting somebody totally different from yourself. You might be saying, well, this isn't the person that I, the type of person I thought I would be interested in, but you might be pleasantly surprised. Also, the main you know, description and interpretation of this card uh, is making wise choices. There's going to be some changes here and some choices you're going to have to make. And in the process, you need to be balanced. Don't, you know, don't base your, um, uh, your decision and your choices on, uh, 
you know, t uh, on a heart level, okay? So don't let your heart lead your head is what they're telling me. Uh, you need to be making <clears throat> some decisions and choices that might be life-changing. And often in relationships and when we commit to a lifetime marriage, that's major. So some of you could be getting engaged. You could be committing to each other. Uh, to you, Maybe you're going to move in with each other. But you're going to be making some major choices and decisions um, when it comes to this card of the lovers. Be balanced. That's the other thing. Uh, that's making sure, like I say, you, you don't um, you don't let your he your heart lead your head because it's very important that you look at the situation with complete clarity before you make a decision. But like I said, some of you could be meeting something be someone new. Now we've got the chariot, and the chariot I always call, as you know, the champion card. And this is about charging towards your goals, getting recognition for what you've done. Um, you know, almost public recognition, great achievement with this card. And you know, he there he is. He doesn't even have reins on these horses that are le uh, carrying his his um, chariot into the arena uh, for battle. He's that confident that you know, and positive that he's going to come out a winner, and that's why he does. So stay positive. My beautiful Pisces, you could be charging into something new, uh, relationship, job, career, passion, uh, hobby, uh, project, anything. But you're going to be accomplishing something. And there could have been some difficult times uh, where you knew there were risks and consequences, just like this uh, guy going into, you know, the, into the arena uh, with his chariot. So you're definitely moving forward. But some of you could also be planning a trip. Now, with the change card in the beginning, packing up your furniture, maybe you're you're going to be going on a road trip from one state or one province to the other, across country or whatever the case is. You could be going on a vacation where you want to take a road trip to go somewhere. Um, any vehicle, pretty much, that you know has wheels on it. That is, to me, this is a this is a, a card of travel as well. So, <clears throat> my beautiful fellow Pisces. We need to express our feelings more this weekend. And we may be having to speak to the masses or to a group of people in the process. Um, take your, take your, um, you know, your wits with you and listen to your inner voice of wisdom and trust your intuition as well. You're going to come out at the end of the day and get rewards for your efforts because you're a major champion here, my beautiful Pisces. And moving on and the changes that are coming in are leaving behind the times that you had thought of in the past, but now you're able to move on in a new direction. Well, I wish you a great be uh, remainder to today and a beautiful weekend here, a positive weekend. And always know, I send you lots of love and many blessings, my beautiful Pisces, my mermaids and mermen.